Hello and welcome Taurus. I'm Adriana. I'm an evolutionary life coach and together you and I are going to go on a journey to uncover your spiritual message and focus for the week. So your theme of the week, interesting, nine of wands. We have got the energy of tenacity, of holding your ground, of staying there till the last person leaves. So, um, this is funny because this should be a natural kind of energy for the Taurus energy. Nine of Wands has to do with really holding your ground. And so the universe wants you to really focus on this week, holding your ground, not shifting from your position once you've decided what the right position is for you, what the true position is for you. Hold your ground, plant those heels down. Okay. We've got you feeling like the Prince of Cups. And so Taurus, this is a little bit funny because this doesn't seem usual, that you're a little bit lost in, I wanna say unspoken yet unbroken promises. That there is this part of you that's, that's wishing and desiring and hoping for things, but it's not quite grounded in reality. This one is really saying ground in reality. There's so much foundation already laid here. There's so much solid ground, and yet there's part of you that's searching off in a different place, wishing and hoping and, and desiring something that just either isn't relevant right now or isn't actually what you want. This Prince of Cups card, I always find the colors to be really fascinating because they don't seem to go together. He's got these beautiful bold colors here and then this weird kind of dusky sky and then this odd liminal space green here. It just, something doesn't feel quite right. It doesn't feel grounded, it doesn't feel like it's in reality. And these cards are at such a stark odds with each other. So one is kind of out in, in the, I'm not sure. And I'd really love this, but this one's saying, nope, this is reality. This is what I'm holding on to. This is where I'm staying. So stay extra grounded in the truth of your reality. Stay extra grounded in what works, Taurus. Not getting lost in what could work or what should work or what might work. Go forward with your message. Lovely, we have the lady. We have the, oh, I like this. We have the Prince of Wands leading into the King of Pentacles. So we are really talking about mega abundance here, mega potential for especially financial attrition. So really a chance to get those pentacles, to get that money, um, to get that really solid. And I think you're seeing, I hope you're seeing the way to get there. Remember our theme was tenacity. Not wishing, but tenacity. Now, if we leave that alone for a second and we look at this, the Empress is talking about trusting that divine flow. And for you, this means getting in touch with any element of flow, whether that's emotions, whether that's creativity, whether that's joy, or whether that's just simply aligning yourself with the feminine energy of receptivity. So in yoga, I'm not a yoga teacher, but we, we have different positions for the hands. This one being um, giving, and then this one down here being receiving. So when you're doing this, you're doing one of each, or you could do, do it that way. So this would be giving, this would be receiving. This is very much about receiving, receiving all of the abundance that the universe has lined up for you. And when you're in an alignment with that energy, you're not pushing, you're not forcing, you're not expecting, but you are allowing and you are receiving. So there might be some meditations you need to do. There might be some mantras you need to say to yourself talking about, you know, I'm abundant. I'm open to receiving all of my abundance. Whatever words really talk to you, that's a good place to start. Now, then we have the Prince of Wands, which accelerates the movement. So when you align with this bigger divine principle, we have this accelerated movement towards one of my favorite cards, the King of Pentacles, which is earthly, being provided for earthly, <laughs> on an earthly plane. So we're talking about, he can sometimes mean promotion. He can sometimes mean 
unexpected or um, financial gains paying off that you've been expecting. But in a more metaphorical sense, it is personalized abundance. It is abundance in your world. So do you see, we tap into this universal abundance and it comes becomes personal straight into your world in a lasting and strong way. I'm also drawn to the green and their knees are kind of, <laughs> their knees are kind of doing the same thing. And knees are part of the legs, which are your foundation. So can you see how this is helping you build a new foundation? And there was very much, I even said heels at the beginning of this reading, planting your heels in. So this is staying really grounded and rooted in your abundance, but understanding that it comes out of a flow. It does not come out of forcing. It doesn't come out of even building one thing at a time. It comes with that idea of aligning with the flow and staying there, not getting off of it. I know green is also the color of money, so sometimes people think of green as an abundant color. But when I think of green, I think of the heart chakra, but I also think of the earth. So this is a time to be very thankful for being connected to the earth, for receiving any blessings that are in your life, making sure to really expand that energy through your heart chakra. So this is intentional saying, I am very grateful for this, feeling the warmth of your heart chakra, being really real about it. There's also a little bit of green on here. And the color green is very interesting because it's a mix of yellow, which is your solar plexus, and the throat chakra, which is your divine will and um, your truth. So this is sitting right in the middle. So Taurus, this is really a lovely week to also work on opening up your heart. All right, I wanna bring back our Prince of Cups just so that we are really solid about what we're supposed to do and what we're supposed to not do. This Prince of Cups wishes and hopes, but wishing and hoping is actually not connecting to your abundance. It's pushing it away because when you wish and you hope, you're actually not really truly believing that you can have it. And even, I, um, I'd love for you to try this maybe after this reading. Think about a wish you have and think about whether you feel, when, you, when you're feeling that wish in your body, does it feel like you could have it? Do you feel absolutely certain? You know, think, and then maybe also for contrast, think about something certain. Like, you know, when you go to the grocery store, there are going to be eggs there or there's going to be milk. And so when you say, okay, I need eggs and milk, there's no like, mm -hmm, there's no insecurity about that. But when you wish or hope, does it feel the same way as asking for milk or, or um, eggs from the grocery store? So it's not really a time to be wishing and hoping and, and forming these empty promises to yourself. All you really have to do is understand that you are part of this divine flow, this divine abundant flow, and to do what it takes to feel in touch with it and to hold on to that feeling, this nine of wands. Do not waver in that feeling. Don't doubt your abundant connection for a second because these are huge, amazing cards. Really, really awesome cards, Taurus. Really awesome energy. All right, so questions about that, please let me know. I would invite you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. Please know it is still under construction. I'm still finessing and working on some different offerings for you. But whatever's on there still stands. So if you need something or you're looking for some guidance right now, um, please feel free to check it out. So I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great week and enjoy. This looks like it's a really awesome abundant week for you.